children i hope you all are fine today we are going to learn about the chapter exponents and power first of all let us recap what we have already learned in class 7 that is the laws of exponents which states that if a and b are any two non zero integers and m and n are any positive integers then number 1 a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n Number two, a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. Number three, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. Number four, a b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m into b to the power n. Number five, a divided by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m divided by b to the power m. And number six, a to the power zero is equal to one. Next, we are going to learn about the chapter uh, about the topic powers with negative exponents. If a is any non-zero integer and m is any positive integer, then a to the power minus m is equal to one by a to the power m. From this, we can say that a to the power minus m is multiplicative inverse of a to the power m, and a to the power m is a multiplicative inverse of a to the power minus m. Again, if p by q is any non-zero rational number and m is any positive integer, then p by q whole to the power minus m is equal to one by p by q whole to the power m, which is equal to q by p whole to the power m, which is equal to q to the power m divided by p to the power m. Now, few solved examples are shown for you. Number one, evaluate three to the power minus four. So three to the power minus four, we can write it as one by three to the power four, which is equal to one by eighty one. Next is two by three whole to the power minus five, which we can write it as three by two whole to the power five. From after solving, we get two forty three by thirty two. Next is find the multiplicative inverse of seven to the power minus two. Now we know that multiplicative inverse of a to the power minus m is a to the power m. So we can say multiplicative inverse of a to the power minus seven uh, to the power minus two is equal to seven to the power two, which is equal to forty nine. Few more examples are solved for you. Here it is given: express nine to the power minus three as a power with base three. So base should be three. So nine in place of nine we can write three square. So three square whole to the power minus three. Now, by the law, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. We can write three to the power two into whole to the power minus three is equal to three to the power two into minus three, which is equal to three to the power minus six. Next, one more example is shown shown for you. That is, 